Hello, my friends. Good morning. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya at Side Gig Crafts. I am so glad you're here today. We are making journal, well, over the page journal, journal notebooks. I don't know what I'm calling this. It's not my idea. I should probably go back and see what other people have called it. But I was inspired by a couple crafters yesterday and wanted to make some as well. So um, we are going to be making some little notebooks that hook up over the page on the journal page. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm so glad you guys are here today. Today is a beautiful day here in Alabama. I have actually gotten into my scraps, found these gorgeous papers, y'all. Look at these gorgeous pages, pages. And I thought that they had the shop name on them and they don't. So I apologize. I don't know what shop these came out of. If I can figure it out when I post this, I will definitely let you know. And I apologize for not giving credit to the shop owner because they are beautiful. Look at this. These might be two different sets. I don't recall. I think they are. But I'll look and see if I can find the name of them. They're just beautiful. And I thought, what a great way to use these papers. We're going to put them into a little notebook. So first things first. We need to make the base. And I thought this would be beautiful to make that base. And I'm going to, it might be a little big, a little bit big. But it's not really because I have this journal coming up and this would be perfect for it. I'm going to go ahead and back this first though. This paper is beautiful. It's like a suede looking paper, but it's it's totally paper. I got this probably from, it's Paper Studio, so I got it from Hobby Lobby at one point. And I need to get some more because I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it comes in different colors. I know that the red is fabulous. And it's just really fun to work with. Let me see if it'll fit on this one. Bit. I can trim it down if I need to, and I probably need to. Let's go ahead and cut this one. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Um, I want to apologize. Yesterday, I did not do a single video or even get out of bed. I was suffering with migraine yesterday, and it has never hit me like that before. I'm telling you, it was horrible. And I just really feel for those of you who suffer with them consistently because that was, that was horrid. I don't think I've felt like that in a long, long time. I get them periodically, but not like that. This was probably the worst one I've ever had. So I do apologize. And then sadly, because I ended up sleeping all day, I did not sleep last night. So I am a bit sleep deprived today and feeling still punky, but I gotta get up and move a bit so I can get back on track, because I tell you what, I was in bed so long, my hips were hurting, my knees were hurting, I couldn't get comfortable. Um, even the quietest video was way too loud. I just couldn't block the light out, it was horrible. I couldn't eat. I was nauseous. It was terrible. Feeling a bit better today, but um, I'm still going to take it easy. I mean, I'm not getting any younger. So I'm going to stay home again today and just rest. Try to get back on my feet. Hopefully, I should be back to work tomorrow. I would expect feel bad because people are having to cover my shifts, but you know what? I've covered plenty. <laughs> I've covered plenty of shifts myself, so I think they'll be okay. I think they'll be okay, and I think they'll figure it out. Ah, doesn't want to cut. Let's go back up over the front, and that will do it. Don't necessarily need 
particular sizing on this because your journal may be a different size. So, you know, specifics aren't important. But for the record, this one is now four inches by eight and a quarter. And we're going to be folding it over. I think I want my pages about six. So we're going to mark this scoreboard. I went blank a minute. I'm like, wait, I looked in the wrong direction for my scoreboard. I haven't used it since I put my desk together. And it's down here. I'm gonna go ahead and score it because it'll fold easier. And that's at the six. Okay, we're gonna fold it at six and one eighth <laughs> because I hit the wrong slot. That's okay. Six and one eighth it is. Like I said, it doesn't matter. matter. I want to make sure this is nice and glued down before you start messing and folding it because I feel it trying to buckle. This paper works a little different, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to also corner around those, maybe, those edges. Well, oh, you know what? I think I moved it. <laughs> I did. I moved it to the drawer so I'd find it easier. And then what I want to do is find some pages. So, what did I say? Four. So we're going to go approximately four inches. And I want to use some of these papers, four by six. That's just about right. I'm going to tear off the edge of this one. And I'm going to make a couple of them. So I know I have my ruler. There it is. Ooh, you can tell I'm just not totally with it today, am I? Try to line that up there and kind of line this up sort of straight-ish. And I should be able to tear there. I just pulled some papers out that I thought would be pretty together. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sitting crooked or something. What is happening? I'm trying to line up my paper, but it's like, doesn't look straight, but at the same time, one, two, three, four. I can't find the right line. Here, I'm gonna do it this way, I think it'd be easier. I think. I'm not the best at this ruler tearing business. I'm just, I'm not. Some of you I watched, I'm like, how is she doing that so easily? I know it's not hard, but sometimes I think I make it harder than it is. And this one's not going to be exactly the same, and that's just fine. This is for a junk journal, so it can be off a little bit. No perfection necessary. But the good thing is, I'm using up these papers, and that is my true goal. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I don't want to go six. I want to go four. One, two, three, four. We'll go there. We'll actually go just before there because I want them to be a little different and really I probably shouldn't have torn this one yet because I don't know the size of my next one I might have to tear those again I'm just gonna not throw that piece away all right so let's start with that one how big are these squares Ooh, they are just about right I think I'm gonna use these too since they're already designed for me. I'm trying too hard. Just tell me to stop. Stop trying so hard. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? All 
right. So, hey, I want to talk to you guys. You guys, listen. Um, I put up a, a post in my community page, and I want to thank you all. You guys, you really, you really helped me out. Um, I was really hoping to get to that 1,000 mark this weekend. And we did it. Yay. Congratulations to you guys as well. I'm um, super excited, super happy that um, the, this community is growing. And it it's so exciting to see that and to see that you guys are, you know, having fun with my content and that you're here and supporting. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. You guys are amazing. I love this community. I love what we're doing. I have made so many wonderful friends and I look so forward to um, making so many more. So thank you for all, all that love and support. I, it really means the world to me. Um, if you have things that you'd like me to see or like me to do on my channel, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking about doing a QA and a um, soon. And we're going to have a party soon. And we're going to have a thousand subscriber giveaway challenge thing going on soon. Um, because it just happened, I still need to think about that and how to do it. Um, so bear with me for a minute while I gather my senses and <laughs> and uh, figure out what we're going to do. So thank you so much for making it possible. You guys are amazing and I have the best YouTube family ever. And I know this and I am so grateful for each and every one. I really, really mean that. Um, this has not been an easy journey. But it's definitely been a fun one. I've put a lot of work into it. And I'm hoping that you guys are um, appreciating those efforts and, you know, inspired. That's my whole goal is to inspire you. Maybe show you some things you didn't know. I want to expand the content on my channel. I know that there's a lot of different things already. But there's some ideas I have that I would like to implement. Uh, but I can talk about that later. I don't want to have to give too much out because I haven't really sorted it yet. So, um, you know, I have, I've got a lot of ideas. So stay tuned for those. But really, this channel is about also about you and what you'd like to see. So I would love to hear about that. You can leave that in comments below. You can email me anytime. I check my email frequently and I respond to every single one. Myself, me, myself, and I. And I try to respond to every single comment. I will tell you, sometimes I don't get the notifications for comments. So if I didn't get it and you need to get a hold of me and I didn't respond to your comment, please email me. I try really hard to look for comments that I've missed, but sometimes I just I just don't see them. So I do apologize. It's not because I'm so popular or anything stupid like that. It's not like that. It's just because um, YouTube isn't real good about sharing all those. I don't I don't know why, but sometimes I'll see them on the in the YouTube studio, but I don't see them in the actual comments until I see them there. So please forgive me if I'm a little bit behind. I really do try to respond to every single one. And if you leave me a sentence, I will probably do the same. If you leave me a single emoji, I will probably do the same. <laughs> but, um, you know, I do work a full-time job in addition to this outside of the house. So I do work and um, sometimes it can be, sometimes it can take me a little while to get back to you. So I do apologize in advance for that. But I do try. And I will get back to you if I see your comment for sure. Oops, I want to do that just first. So what I'm trying to do, I'm just, oops, I've got two pieces here, don't I? Ooh, let's do that one first because I already have some of the flowers. Um, 
I'm just trying to get some of these different pages. I'm gonna have to get the, I feel really bad that I didn't have the name of the shop for you guys right now. Um, but I will I will find it because I need some more of the papers anyway. And they're on my computer, they're in my Etsy shop. Not my Etsy shop, I mean I purchased them on Etsy. So I will be able to retrieve that for you. So if you are interested in these papers and I have not posted that in the description box yet, remind me, I may have forgotten. Um, because I am also an adult with ADHD. Imagine that. You guys didn't know that, did you? <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you did. I bet you see it all over me <laughs> with all the different things that I do. Um, yeah, one of the reasons I love to do so many different crafts, my family... Um, six my family is pretty much all crafty i've got i've got uh carpenters in my family i've got electricians in my family i've got teachers in my family who i also consider very uh very creative and skillful i have um artists in my family my cousin does amazing carving of woodwork and my brother does amazing leather work oh my goodness he, he, his work is impeccable. I just wouldn't even, I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> he's just, he's, he's mastered it. He's figured it out. And I love that. Um, my dad does carpentry and he, his, he built his home and pretty much just about anything in it, including any projects we kids want to make. He's uh, taught me how to use the a lot of the wood equipment, which I love. So I'll be doing some more of that on my page. Dad and I created these da ink daubers. Um, I've got glue on mine. I love this thing. I need to go get the wood for it and make some and put them in my Etsy. I keep saying I'm going to do it. But um, these are awesome because I have... Well, that ink pad is coming off. I have um, trouble gripping things for long with my hands. And these have been a perfect solution to that because it's got the bigger handle and bigger base. It's much easier to grip and do my work. So those have been a lifesaver for me and I wanna make them available for anybody else who might have that issue or challenge, I should say. We call them challenges, Tanya, not issues. One, two, three, four. I'm making these smaller and smaller. I don't know why. And so that is something I want to do and get them out so that you guys can have access to those. I think that would be fun. And I want to get some of my journals completed. Did I mention ADHD? Yeah, we don't finish projects. Did you know that? That's why Finish It Friday is so important to me. And I slept through it yesterday. Mm-hmm. I know, I had a headache, I did, it was a migraine and I could not sit up for nothing. But I hate being non-productive. <laughs> it's a problem for me, it really is. I do like to be productive and I like to get things done. So finish it Friday, which is what I normally do on Fridays. And I host an open collaboration, so if you wanna join me get out your tools on Friday, get you out your unfinished projects. I would love that. Use the hashtag finish it Friday and I will come and support you in your efforts to get things done on Fridays or any day. You can use hashtag finish it Friday any day. I don't care. I'll come visit you. I'll come support you and cheer you on. I promise I will. Test me. Try it. <laughs> the evil comes out. Try it. Do it. Just do it. Three, four, five. Um, because that's what I like to do. I like to support different channels. Um, I like to work with different channels and support my my crafty friends and my other friends. I've got new friends. I've got homesteader friends. Um, I'm just having so much fun on YouTube right now, you guys. It's just incredible experience. And I am so, so grateful for each and every one. What else am I doing? I'm doing, let's see, 
Mondays are open. I like to support other channels on Mondays. Whether it's Let's Do Die Kenning Mondays is one that I've been working on a, as a lot, not every Monday. Um, Jen over at Sassy Southern NC Girl um, have, was doing Murder Mondays or Mystery Monday. What was it? Something something like that and she's wanting to get back to that so I like to support that one um and you'll see Jen and I collabing from time to or on Tuesdays two, three, four. and we do 10 minute Tuesday where we do pick a crafting project or a style or a technique and we create something within 10 minutes <laughs> sometimes it Sometimes we totally fail and we can't get it done in 10 minutes. Who's kidding who? But um, it's fun trying. And, you know, it's... Sometimes we get too busy, we think, to get any crafting done. And really, you can get a lot done in 10 minutes. Even if you can't do a whole project, you can get quite a bit done. And that's really what we're trying to do is just find that 10 minutes in the day to do some crafting. It's great for our mental health and it's great for our, you know, it's great to practice our skills. And it just, you know, it might bring you a little more, a little peace during the day. I know it does for me. I think I do crafting to keep myself from uh, saying or doing crazy things throughout the day. It also gives me something to think about during the day. It's like, oh, why don't, why don't I try this? Why don't I try that? Maybe I could, you know, you know what I mean. And it's always fun to come home and see what my friends did that day too. Let's go this way. I like this piece. I'm not looking for straight pieces anymore. I've given up on that. How wide is that one? One, two, three, four. It's going to be wider on the side. No, it's actually not. So let's do. I think I want. I have a lot of that flower paper already. So let's go with this side. All right. Now these smaller pieces we'll use for another one or we'll use them for tuck spots or whatever. So let's find the papers we want to use to fill this up. And I'm thinking these are just going to tuck under here. And I hope I didn't just cut these all the wrong size. And I know that some of them, let's see, some of them are longer than others, and that's perfectly what I wanted. Did that on purpose. I want the longest ones in the back. I'm going to go in order here. Didn't measure on purpose. That's going to go there. It's gonna go up on top. That one's longer than those. I think that's right in here. This one is gonna go here. I didn't eat yesterday. I'm getting hungry. Trust me, my body is okay with missing a meal, but, but I am hungry. I have to find some lunch today. There's not a lot in the fridge. We've been eating down our fridge supply. We have three cooking adults. <laughs> we end up with leftovers, which is really nice um, to go and be able to pick something out. It's like, oh, hey, what did you cook? What did you cook? And we can kind of swap food. It's a common conversation around here. What, what, what you making for dinner? What are you guys having? Our 
have benefits to having roommates. Roommates being, you know, my kids. Before I'd have to torture them to get them to cook me dinner. Now it's a trade-off. Of course, I can hand them my card too and say, hey, uh, if you fly, I'll buy. That's kind of nice too, because they can drive. That's not even close the right spot okay well I'm not I don't want all these pages in one anyway okay let's stop there let's do what do I want for the cover of this one I love this I don't want I don't want the red for the cover I don't it's too much I really kind of think I want this one for the cover I'll pull this one aside and it could be shorter ones behind the taller ones too it, it doesn't it doesn't matter it really doesn't, but what does matter is that these need to line up at the top up here because we're going to use brads to connect them. So, I'm gonna put some of these in here. And this one is actually longer. Let's go back behind there. And I want some of the designs to show, so that's why I want to stack them. And I want some of the longer, where's the longest one? What is the longest one? I'm hoping it's not one of these brown ones. Of course it is. Is it the longest? I'm just gonna pull these out because I can cut, I can tear those to a better size if I need to. I want this one in there. Does that go there? Yes, that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna trim this one down just a little bit because I'm not liking how wide it is. It's just a little bit too wide, just a little. And you guys don't get mad at me, but I am throwing away those little tiny strips. I have enough paper, I'm okay. Especially after my haul the other day, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got plenty of paper. Plenty. I won't need paper for a while. Okay, I love this one. I'm gonna trim this one too. Now the neat thing about these paper pads is that, you know, they can journal on the back of these, tear them out. They can use these papers um, to decorate their journal, whatever. You know, these are little scraps of papers that they can just tear out of here or use for notes or glue on or you know, whatever that they want to do. And that's that's what they're for. So it's kind of a, a cool little thing to have in that notebook or in their journal. I think I want, is this the longest one? I think this one, I want this one at the back. I feel like I want to go ahead and cover this. I'm not, the papers are fine. I think I want to put, let's put this one on the back. I think that would be really pretty, but I want to tear it. Um, which I think I can do this way. And I know I didn't show you guys a prototype, but I will as soon as I make one. <laughs> I gotta get better about these videos too. I wanna be able to introduce, this is what we're doing today, let me show you. And then these are all the things that we need. And then here it is, let's do it. That's what I should be doing, right? <clears throat> that way you guys know what you're signing up for. I will get better at these videos. I Hang in there with me. Working this all out in my head. There we go. Although I really kind of like the craft along with me thing because I, I don't have rules. You guys seem to like it too, actually. Yes, seem to. All right, that's really pretty. And I like that, fab that fabric, that paper in the back. I don't want to make it too thick because then it won't go well into the journal. 
do we need to add a little bit more color in there somehow? There's only one or two with red on it. Let's see if there's another. Will this one show a little bit more? That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Let's, I want to round these corners too. Let's smooth that down better. And we're gonna distress the edges of this paint. This paint, actually, you know what? I don't like the torn edges on that one. Let's go ahead and trim that back. I don't. I think I liked the clean look on that part. There we go, that's nice. And we're gonna go ahead and ink. Maybe not with this pad. These pads are actually um, refills. I can't remember if they're Ranger or the Paper Studios that I put on here. I think they're Paper Studios. And I don't know why this one's having a trouble today. I've used it a lot, which is probably the problem. And I'm just going to kind of dingy this one up a little all over. Good enough. All right, so what do we do with these? This one, did I go the wrong way? Because I wanted the red at the, to show. I need to tap them all down so that they're all at the same height. And then what we want to do Bring this up into here and then we're going to take a chomper in here crocodile come here Let's see if I can do this one-handed there we go and I'm going to put a small I'm gonna kind of eyeball it to the middle. There, flip this around, eyeball it to the middle. You are welcome to measure. I don't feel like it. Chomp there. Now, there's a piece in there stuck. You could do this a couple ways. If you don't have brads, you could actually tie, I didn't put the back in because then it would be tied shut, but you could actually put a ribbon in here or twine or something. I'm gonna use brads. Another thing you could do is actually go up higher so that we'd have more of that paper to use, but I actually made it short. The paper used the usable portion a little bit smaller because I did that pretty low. So the next one we'll do a little bit different. Now let's see. I've got some, I've got some really cool brads in here. Let's find some fun ones that might work really nicely. One of my goals this month was to use more brads, and I think I've accomplished that in a, several projects. Um, let's use these black ones. These would be fun. Those are different. Those are not brads. Those are grommets. Those are not the right thing. So those brown ones are long. How about white ones? Off white ones. I'm trying not to break out the other box because then we'll just be sorting through the other box. But we can, we can get out the other box for the next one. So here's this one. And these are actually pretty nice because that kind of goes with that. We'll just kind of stick these through here. Another another reason not to make them too thick is because your brads won't fit. These are a little tight. So super cute way to give a 
little tablet of paper for journaling or decorating or what have you. And you know, that is going to keep this from bending. Hang on a second. What I'm going to do, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe don't go all the way to the edge because then it's gonna be hard for it to shut and then it won't lay flat in your journal. So let's trim this back just a bit and that will probably lay a little better. There we go. So now what is this for? This is for, where's a journal? Where's a journal? I don't have one done nearby. So we'll just take this one. So this would go over your page inside your journal, just like that. So that you could have something. That, now we could put a pocket on here, which I think would be a great idea, but it would go inside your journal in a pocket, or you could tuck it into something, something like that. So how about a little pocket here? We've got plenty of scraps we can use. We'll just make a fun one right here. How about that? I've got punches that I can punch out a little notch. And we will just dauber it up just a little bit. We've got a fun little notebook to go over the page. How about that? I love it. Now you could put a sentiment on this side. You could decorate it up all you want. You could put some fun little ephemera in there. Super cute. Love that. There we go. Like a little sampler kind of a thing. Let's do one more. You guys here for one more? Let's do it. A little sip of coffee is necessary. Let's keep it going. All right, let's do another one. Um, we should use the same paper because I'm trying to use it. And not that I want to get rid of it, but I do. <laughs> I'm just trying to clean things out, let's be honest. All right. And use up my scraps. My scrap box is overflowing again. Do we all have that problem? I'm pretty sure we do. If I go to eight, I think that was a little bit too long. I'm gonna go to six and a half this time, and I'm gonna fold this a little shorter than that one because I can. Um, sure we're still recording. I saw text come through. Perfect. Sometimes texts that come through will uh, stop my recording. I want to make sure we're still good. scissors to trim it this time so I don't cut the cut the size of the backing up these will be really fun these would be something easy to make in front of the TV too won't it wouldn't it get out your scraps and tear them up and put them all together I just made that crooked. I think I did. I probably should have used my trimmer. Okay. Next. Next, let's put one more piece of paper on the back of this one. Since we ended up doing it to that one, I'm going to do it to this one too because I think that's how I will like it. And I think this is the good one. And it's the perfect size, so I think it was meant to be.
text keeps coming through on my iPad. That's weird. Let's see. I might have to use my trimmer anyway. Because this doesn't want to seem to be flat or, or straight. And I don't know why. So, this edge is straight. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Just a sliver. Just a sliver this way. And just a sliver this way. Because this is the one that's crookedish. And it still doesn't want to cut right. It'll be fine. It will be just fine. Okay, we've got some corners to round. This one should actually go a little faster since we have most of that paper torn up already. Might have to trim it. I don't know. I was getting kind of narrow with it, so I might not have to trim too much. Oops, there's still a weird piece right there. All right, and then we're going to score it. I'm going to go about one inch this time. I think. <laughs> it's like one inch or one and one eighth. I don't know. Trying for one inch. It's buckling a little bit because it's not dry. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to kind of burnish that a little bit so it stays down a little better. And then let's look for papers. Beautiful. We're going to take off about a quarter of an inch. Where'd my ruler go? It's more like a half an inch. That's fine. Love that. This one needs to go back this way and that way. Certainly not caring about perfect at this point. Um, this way. These are fairly equal. That's okay. How about this one? Ooh, these are both very wide. We'll at least put something in between those. We need some of this. Yes, we do. Because it's gorgeous. Maybe we want that one on the front this time. I think I do. I think I do. Put this one in there. Oh, let's put this one in there. Let's tear off the top of this one. I love the numbers. I love flowers. We need some more of this. And you think that's good enough? What do you guys think? think that's good. I think it's lovely. Let's go ahead and ink around this part because I forgot. Yep, these were fun to make. Um, I think that as you get your papers cut and figure out what colors you want to use, I think that's going to be the most time consuming part. 
and then it, it goes pretty quick from there. There we go. I think that's right. I think it's sticking out just a little bit. Let me see here. Is that one just a little bit too wide? We're gonna trim that one slightly. I don't know where it was, but it looks good there. <laughs> That will do it. Now I want to make sure that this lines up this way so that it doesn't stick out when I open it again or whatever. Carefully flip it this way and try to go in about the same distance. Again, I'm eyeballing. Let's see what we can find in the next box. Maybe we could find some bright pink ones that would be cute. That would be really cute. Let's see here. So many goodies. There's, ooh, either one of those. If I, Whichever one I can find first, that's what we'll do. There's that, is that the same? can't tell if that's the same or not. I think it is. All right, we're going with those. There's no rules here, just the ones we make for ourselves. So these are actually bigger than the other ones. Let's stick that in there. These will be fun to have on hand as I build my journals. And I think this one's probably gonna go in that flowery journal I just started. I think this is perfect for that one. And um, we need a pocket on the back. What are we gonna use there? Should we use maybe this one? Or this one, cut that that way. I could go with more brown. I think I like the brown. I think I like the brown the best. I'm going to tear this. See that the thumb notch is going to go. Okay, we're going to tear this this way. But then we're going to also tear it this way. Oops. And then put the thumb notch there. My next video might be collaging again since we have all these new scraps. <laughs> um, there we go. We should call them over the page samplers, yeah? I think that would be a great name for them. They'd be cute to add a little charm on there that might hang out of the journal. Or even um, like a thumb to a tab up here would be cute. That way when it's hanging over the page, if it's got the little tab on it, you can find it easily. I think that's a great idea. Let's see if I have I don't think I have any tabs cut anywhere. So that might be for another day. But anyways, I hope you guys like my little project. This was really fun to, to figure out and play with. And I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Thanks again for joining me in my journey and being so supportive. I love you all. Hope you have a great one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.